All right, so this video is gonna be very much just off the cuff. This is just something last minute that I wanted to throw out there to you guys. Now, a lot of you probably don't know who Mo Brooks is. He's a congressman in Alabama. Now, in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about what just happened, legitimately just happened less than an hour ago, as far as when I'm making this video, in Washington, where a congressman and some other people were shot at a practice baseball game. Now, this was a bunch of Republicans, and I'm not going to make any comment on that particular uh, situation right now because we don't know anything. We just know a bunch of people were shot and a suspect is in custody. We don't know who the suspect is, what the intentions behind the shooting were, or anything else. I'll probably make a video on that later on or talk about it in one of the podcasts. But what I want to concentrate on in this video is, as the title exclaims, Mo Brooks, this congressman from Alabama. You see, oh, about an hour or so, give or take, after this incident, of course, news teams arrive and start interviewing people. Mo Brooks was one of the people that was there. Now, he wasn't on the field or anything like that. He was close enough to see what was going on, but uh, was not in the field of fire or anything like that that I'm aware of. At least that's the way he made it seem. And keep in mind, Mo Brooks is a seasoned politician, all right? He should, even in stressful situations, even uh, after seeing uh, what happened happen, um, he should be able to speak properly. He should be able to, especially as a Republican who is supposed to be pro-gun and conservative, he should be able to deal with, let's say, the media when they're asking him tough questions or, or uh, asking him what happened or whatever it may be. But this is what happened. Mo Brooks was being interviewed by CNN after everything happened. I don't know if this was an hour after whatever. I have no idea. And this is what he said to CNN. A pro-gun Republican said this. To CNN. I'm not quoting here. The gun was a semi automatic. It continued to fire at different people. Now, obviously, he said a lot more than that, but think about those words. The gun was a semi automatic. Why does that matter? Why does it matter what type of gun it was? I don't know. Why would a supposedly pro gun politician bring that up in an interview with CNN? And then to say it continued to fire at different people. Now, I don't know about all you guys out there, but even in a stressful situation, I am 100% certain I am never going to say, it continued to fire at people. I would say, he continued to fire at people. He continued shooting people. You know, he just kept pulling the trigger. There are a hundred other things that would pop into my head as somebody who is pro-gun before I would say, it continued to fire at people. CNN even points out that he made a distinction saying it was a semi-automatic rifle. He just didn't know what kind and it continued to fire at people. Really? That is straight up blaming the gun for this particular incident. He right then and there told CNN that the gun was the problem. Never mind the fact this happened in Washington DC with if not the most, some of the most strict gun control laws across the country, period. But a supposed pro-gun Republican went up to CNN and basically blamed the gun. I don't know, I don't know. All I'm going to say is this. Mo Brooks, go fuck yourself for acting and sounding like an anti-gunner. 